Hey guys, welcome back to the second of our three-part series for Nice Body with Muscle and Fitness. You saw in our first video when I spoke with Cameron here at Trojan CrossFit, we really found out more about that CrossFit community and the kind of ideologies of that training, the aspect, the exercises. In the first video, I had a look at combining endurance with more explosive power for that strength and conditioning. For this video, number two, we're gonna have a look at more upper body strength. Still working around that endurance, tying in the sort of systematic exercises that work in linkages, so shoulders, back, arms, all together with this one. Three exercises, again, we're gonna perform them in a circuit manner, so minimal, no rest, between each of these stations. We're gonna do this time, so I'm giving myself a minute, only because it's something that is measurable, as opposed to maybe repetitions, which whilst you can count them, there's no set structure, you can take breaks, you're gonna take longer doing the tempo. For a minute, we have that set goal. Perform as many as you can, with good technique and good form, up to that minute. It's a great key to be able to then monitor your progress over the following weeks and months, and really test your strength against others for that time circuit. First off, we're gonna do some clean and presses. Then I'm gonna move on and perform some handstand press ups. And finally, finish on some box jumps. So a little bit more endurance work in there. But first two exercises, it's all about that upper body strength. So let's get to it. Okay, now I'm not pushing maximum weight there, but it's still challenging me. So I'm to, my breath is increasing. I'm taking my shoes off now to perform and some push ups. This really is going to challenge me after having done a minute clean and press. A minute of these, let's see what I can do. Yeah, I know that wasn't a minute, but I'm gonna break it down into segments of 20. Those are tough. Certainly after having done that, and certainly if this isn't a normal, regular exercise for you. Pressing a bar behind my neck or in front, sure. Pressing my body weight after having just done the weight for a minute, not too easy. Let's get back into it. Muscles are getting pumped now. It's not so much that I can't do it. It's more that my body just won't allow me. <sighs> Being tight from all that weightlifting certainly doesn't help me. Let's finish off that last trio. That's all I can do for that one. But that's my reference point now. Next time I complete the circuit, I sure as heck better get a lot more of those. Okay, shoes back on, head straight over to the box. And this is something that I really want to challenge myself on. So 
We're going to turn the box on its side, a little bit higher up. Make sure it's sturdy enough. Oh man. Okay, one minute, box jumps. Done, but that's only the first circuit. If I was doing real CrossFit here, be straight back over. I tell you what, I wouldn't like to start that circuit again, complete it two, three, four, even five more times. That really does show you what these guys go through during a CrossFit class. That was just one circuit. But speaking of that, let's go and have a look and break down each of those exercises to help you perform better, whether you're in the gym or at a CrossFit class. Okay. All right, clean hand press. The key to this is not to go too heavy. This isn't, in literal sense, our powerlifting or Olympic power move. We're not just simply going for a rep here, one rep max. This is four reps, this is for that duration. It's a big difference between how much weight you can lift and how long you can lift that weight. So this is only about 40% of my usual weight that I might perform, but it is for a minute. So let's break down the actual movement. Hands, nice strong overhand grip, a little bit wider than shoulder, therefore as I'm pressing it up, I have that leverage coming straight under the elbows. I can get those elbows in, force that bar up without having too wider or narrow a grip but like every good lift, we start from the floor. So, get the bar off, lift it around, put it by our feet. We're gonna stand shins practically to the bar, keep it nice and close. That wide overhand grip. The movement goes basically in three parts. We're gonna explode up, get that ballistic power. Shoulders come up. We actually come up off our heels. So we really extend that body up as we pull that bar, and then just at the top, we're gonna to flick the bar over, bring the elbows under, as our heels touch back down, we're gonna exhale and drive that bar up. I'll try and perform it in slow motion, but it looks something like this. So, extend through the hips, and I bring it out. Oh, you see I duck down a bit there to kind of compensate for that resting of the bar as I stand back up. Extend that arm, back, soften the knees, flick back round and go down. Couple of reps at normal speed. Really, really great exercise. Good for the legs, good for the back, great for the shoulders. Just, in every essence, a compound movement. Let's move on, have a look at those shoulder push-ups. All right, handstand push-ups. First of all, we need a wall or some big surface to be able to kick our feet up to. And I actually take my shoes off on this just so that the socks allow for an easier slide, less resistance up on the wall. Key to this is to start with your hand placement. It's about a foot back from the wall. And from here, I like to have my elbows pointing forwards rather than outwards, because I'm kind of always leaning up against that wall. Therefore, it's easier on my joints and actually easier to push my body weight up, basically sliding up that wall. So let's try and perform this slowly and technically correct upside down. Oh. 
very very similar to actually performing a military press except the reverse we're using our whole body weight as that resistance it feels much more natural than lifting a weight and pushing it above our head but it's one that we're for me anyway certainly not used to compared to moving weight so this is a great substitute for performing overhead or seated military presses in the gym if you can do 10 of these you're really killing it all right let's move on have a look at that last and final exercise in this sequence uh, which is box jumps Now, the first thing I did was turn this box from its side onto its other side, make, making it taller. Benefit for this is it's a final big push for me, it's a challenge. At this height, it's not that difficult for me. Raising it up a few inches, it's got to keep me on my toes, no pun intended. But it's literally got to push me through that final minute. If I'm moving weight and then kind of plyometric with my own body weight, now this is all about that force, acceleration, that ballistic, explosive power. This is a completely different energy system really that I'm using, more than the strength and the power. This is about that, yes, explosive power, but it's body weight, it's that full movement as well. So, obviously we don't step too close that when you go down, you're gonna knock it and risk hitting the shins or feet onto the box when you jump up. We're gonna step back probably equivalent of two foot lengths. Instead of just jumping up, we're gonna squat down first. Arms go back, and then from here, we're gonna snap, let everything explode. The arms, as they come up, hips come up, lift off, and you'll see, I can't do this in slow motion, but movement goes like this. And then land softly when you back down. If you're really good at this, as soon as you land, you go straight into that kind of squat down, ready to explode up. Something like this. <sighs> Which is much more difficult and technically difficult than kind of resetting, jump back down, stop, and then reset, go back into that squat, thrust, and jump. As you can see, a lot of technicalities within basically a few basic and simple exercises, but when you perform them in that sequence, when you perform them with that technical aspect in mind, you can see just three minutes, I'm sweating already. It really has pushed my heart rate up, my cardiovascular system, my metabolic system, my muscular system. It's testing it all. Give this a try, keep watching the third and final installment of our Nice Body series here at Trojan CrossFit when we'll be looking at more upper body strength, conditioning, power, and endurance. See you guys then.